It started right here, you know, a long time ago, certainly before my time. There was a war, yes, right here in Griffin, between Ardemon and Elder. They struggled and they fought, neither of them ever gaining any ground on the other, for they were equally matched, you see. <sighs> but not so equally matched that their stalemate could last forever. The Elder came out on top, and Ardemon was cast down, buried deep and left for dead. <laughs> but how many good stories start with, You're supposed to be dead. You really think this will work? I don't know. All I know about Cinder is what we read in Carrie's file, and the fact that he came through a reinforced wall like a pissed-off Kool-Aid man. You're sure this is the only way in and out? Not even close, but it's the only way I know of. The tunnel extends to where the sanatorium was. After the explosion, there's no way in and out of that area, unless someone has dug out a couple of tons of granite, clay, and debris. Huh. At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if someone had. When we cleaned up the area, we bulldozered everything we could and buried it right there. We didn't haul off the debris from the site. There's no way that anyone could have done that without someone noticing. Took a while for people to realize what you were doing with your bunker. But they did figure it out eventually. Besides, mine was all in the up and up. I had building permits for everything we did. They just didn't know it was underground. Anyway, so back to this tunnel thing. This access point is still our best way in and out. What about the rakes, huh? I don't think they're going to be a problem. Why not? The rakes aren't going to stick around near Cinder unless they're compelled to by Ahriman. And Ahriman won't risk being in another vessel when whatever Cinder has planned happens. And you go in with everything you got. See, this is the part of the plan I agree with. And this is the part I don't like. I think surprise is our best bet. No. Thanks to Ezekiel's escape, he knows we're coming. It's just a matter of time. One way or another, he'll be waiting on us. As much as I'd love to take him by surprise, I think shock and awe is the better solution here. We hit him fast and we hit him hard. Put him down before he has a chance to do anything. End it. Before it begins. Exactly. But we have to remember, Peter is still down there. We can't let him get hit in the crossfire. He is the key to everything, and he might be the only way to truly stop Cinder. Okay. Then we do this together. 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 How do you think this is going to end? Take me down to the final decision And the world will Today. I know who your precious vessel is. Take me down to the final decision, and the world will break apart today. The only thing I've ever done is run from them. And the world will break apart. It's time for Ariman to rise. Today. You can't keep hidden. You can't keep your secrets forever. Your plans will be stopped. Time passed and Adamant stayed trapped, buried underground. He was already wounded from the battle and his powers began to fade. He might have died there, but by a stroke of luck... They built a hospital for the insane right on top of him. Ahriman was able to feed off the patients there. He fed off their fears, fed off their anxiety, fed off everything that was wrong with them. It took years, but his strength began to return to him. And though he was still trapped, Ahriman was able to reach out. And the one he reached out to was me. Let go. I have waited too long for this day to come. You believe yourselves to be clever. To think that Araman chose you. But I am his chosen. 
the power flowing through me is proof of that. I will not let you ruin our plans. What the hell? This isn't right. The clay will hold you. Ahriman has shown me what is to come. He has shown me all the pieces needed. And the final piece of the puzzle is right here. Let me out of this goo. It's of no use. I I can't free myself. My powers are nothing compared to Araman. But they are useful. And you are no match for them. Save your strength. You will need it. You got any bright ideas? (sighs) No. I thought I could stop him myself. I didn't know how far gone he was. I thought he could be reasoned with manipulated. Boy, were you wrong. Don't you think I know that? Everything I've done, everything I've planned, it's useless now. Well, at least one good thing is going to come from this. Oh, you really think so? You really want to see Armin's power in his hands? He already has it. No. Not even close. What you are seeing is merely a fraction of what Araman has to offer if he gets it all nothing will stop him and you really think I'd be jumping for joy over you getting that power you fool I never intended to take control of the power it was never for me it was always meant to stop just stop I'm not buying it anymore Peter you're the vessel You never stopped and asked yourself what that meant. What are you saying? Vessels are meant to be filled. By what? My boy. By Araman. He plans to fill you to the brim, leaving nothing left inside. I won't let it happen. You act as if you have a choice. Well, how do I stop it? You already have. How? Cinder is in control now. It's all on him. If he kills you, then the power flow into him, and then even I don't know what will happen. Because he will not be able to control it. Despite everything he believes, only the vessel is strong enough to control all of it. A vessel forged in the darkness. A vessel forged with fire. And if he were to get it, then we are all doomed. No matter what side we are on, do you understand now? You were trying to kill him. Yes. So Ariman can be free and then, what, possess me or something? Yes. Okay. Okay. They trapped him once before. We can do it again. Nobody has to die, and Ariman is stuck right here forever. But... You... The one thing you've always done is talk way too much. I figured you would give up too much information if I just let you do it. You son of a... Ariman showed me visions of the tunnels and the sunstones. He showed me what needed to happen and that the only way to destroy his cage was with a cleansing fire. I would need help, of course. And that's where Annabelle Cotton came in. (laughs) She was simple enough to control. Just needed a little push here and there. I kept up the illusion that Annabelle was in charge, and I even let her believe that herself. It was the least I could do. Knowing how badly she'd suffer later. Next, I needed muscle. And Richard Boyd fit the bill perfectly. He had sustained some sort of brain injury. Never cared to learn his whole story. He was the easiest. 
It took me just a couple of days, and Richard was my loyal servant. Molly Madison was the most difficult. I never could fool Molly. She knew Annabelle was a puppet, but she didn't care. Molly had such passion. She had her own reasons for wanting to see the hospital burn down. I just handed her the opportunity to make it happen. How is she? <sighs> She's a wreck. Yeah? She blames me, of course. And she's not wrong for that. Why is that? What am I missing here? Tara was one of ours. She was undercover. She was undercover. On my orders. That explains... a lot, actually. We've been keeping an eye on Barnabas, but I never suspected he'd be a murderer. You'd be surprised what people would do with the right motivation. You're right. We're bringing him in as soon as we can find him. If you find him. I have a feeling we will. His brother just resurfaced. What? Ezekiel showed up at Robert's house out of the blue. Said that Peter was trapped underground with some... Peter was with Ezekiel this whole time? It looks that way. So you're going after him, right? You're going to get Peter back. Look, Kate, I have enough going on right now. I don't have time or manpower. You don't have the time and manpower to save a man's life? Peter has proven himself more than capable of dealing with these people on his own. But we're not talking about people anymore, Sheriff. We're talking about monsters. But you don't believe that, do you? After everything you've seen, you still don't believe in anything outside your narrow world view. I believe there are some extremely dangerous people out there. And I almost just lost one of my own to those people. I thought you were on our side. Uh, you're not. You know what, Sheriff? Fuck you. I'll go get Peter myself. Where are you going? I'm gonna go save my friends. There's an entrance to the tunnels near where the Spalding Institute used to be. Erica, please, I, I know you're hurting. Stop it. This was your fault. If you had gotten off your ass and done something, Tara wouldn't be in there right now, fighting for her life. I took this job because I thought I could save people, but if you won't, then I'm going with someone who will. Erica. You can take this badge and shove it. Come on, Cade. Ah, oh, damn it. I did everything right, just like I was told. Followed his instructions to the letter. But the Ottoman didn't tell me about the gas mains. The explosion was ten times what I would have imagined. I didn't free Ottoman. I just made his prison a little bigger. And in the process, I inadvertently created Cinder and the vessel. Yes, it was an accident. But I created them. Both of them. It wasn't my fault, though. How could I have known? He didn't tell me. He should have told me. I... He should have told me. I did get to watch Annabelle burn, though. <laughs> I looked her in the eye while she was setting herself on fire. And right before she died, I saw her realize... In that last moment, she knew that everything I told her was a lie. She screamed. She screamed in agony and in betrayal and in rage before the fire snuffed her out. How much farther do we have to walk? We're almost there. So, Ms. Adams, how does one such as yourself 
begin to follow someone as despicable as George Locke. Because the world we live in is wrong, and he's actually doing something about it. Poor delusional fool. With everything you've done to achieve your goals, you think calling me a fool is wise? Where's it gotten you? Why, my dear, from the opening in front of us, it looks like it's gotten me back where I needed to be. Right back to the... Barnabas? Ezekiel? Damn! You distracted me, brother. No matter, she served her purpose. Who's that? Ah, it looks like you are not alone. You seem to have brought everyone with you. How unexpected. What are you doing here? Miss Rogers, I assume it's for the same thing we are all here for. No need to be coy about things right now. We all know the vessel is in this tunnel. And more important, we know who is guarding him. Cinder. Yes, I don't suppose you would want to finally join me, brother. Never. Ah, uh, Robert. I would like to say it is good to see you again. But after what we went through, forgive my manners in saying that I could care less ever to see you again. You murdered people. Are you going to stand there and tell me that you're going to shed one tear for them? Gabriel? That weakling? I plucked him from nothing and he dared to betray me. And then there's Dr. Barton. A man who plotted against all of us, including you. Are you really saddened at his death? Please, spare me your self-righteousness. And what about Tara? Now, that one I regret. It was a necessary sacrifice, though. A necessary sacrifice? You are sounding a lot like Locke, Barnabas. Please don't compare me to that psychopath. I'm only doing what I have to, and sometimes that means getting my hands dirty. Now, Ezekiel, last chance. Are you with me or against me? I'm sorry, baby brother, but we're on different paths, you and I. I hope when this is all over, you'll see the error of your ways. I doubt that very much. Come on, let's go after him. Wait. What do you mean, wait? First that woman, and now Barnabas. I hate to say it, but they might just be the break we need against Cinder. What do you mean? They're going to be one hell of a distraction for us. But, actually, that's not bad. I go in first, and then the three of you come in behind me. We hit them fast and hard. And remember, our priority is getting Peter out of here. But if we have a chance to take out the big guy, we take it. Yes. I thank you all for your help. Don't worry. We've got this. We're going to get Peter back. Come on. Let's do this. I had failed Ahriman, and I was afraid. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I feared retribution, so I ran. I thought I could hide from him if I were locked away in a prison. So I let myself get arrested. For years, I thought I was safe in my cell, and over time the fear slowly faded. Then one night, Ottoman found me and reminded me of my promise to him. He reminded me of his power and reach, too. Reminded me what he's capable of and what he'd do if I failed him again. I left the prison, escaped out into the dark, and found Tatum. Ottoman made clear my next mission. Find the vessel. I thought it was Robert at first. Then I thought of Ezekiel. I even thought for a moment it might be me. But it wasn't. It was you all along. Peter Davis. The orderly that I'd taken hostage all that time ago, back at the hospital. <laughs> As a sort of poetic irony, doesn't it? The pre dawn hours approach. This is when Armin 
is at the height of power. Not at midnight, but just before first light. This is when I will kill you, Ori, and ascend with all of Ori's power. Ah, oh, why wait? Just do it now and spare me your speeches. Richard? Yeah, we do not have to be enemies. Uh, I could be a, a great asset to you. Richard Boy is dead. You killed him in this very tunnel. I will leave you alive to see me accomplish what you could not. Intruders! They're trying to stop you. Who dares? They're coming to stop you. Let them come. I cannot be stopped. Are you sure? Oh shit. He's here. You have made a mistake to come here. No, I don't believe I have. You think a knife will stop me? That's not all I brought. I assume that the doctor is uh, no longer with us? No. He killed him. Good. I hate loose ends. Although I must say, I never thought Barnabas would be the one to save me. Get me out of here before he realizes I'm trapped and decides to turn that gun on me. We have bigger problems than Barnabas. Oh? You're not the only one who had backup. Oh, thank God. Should I kill him for you? No. Finally. I'm free. I'm sorry, did you say no? Yes. In fact, do everything in your power to protect him. He's the key to everything. And we must make sure he stays alive. At least four. Now. So you're what all the fuss is about. (laughs) If I knew it would be this easy to kill you, I would have done it myself years ago. This This pain pain is is fleeing. You will not not stop stop me. How about this, then? Good shot. I I was aiming for his arm. But you could have hit Barnabas. Never mind. Peter's over there. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. I did say I would be back for you. How the hell did you get in this stuff? Cinder. I'm not even sure how he did it. He just pushed us in and we sunk. Karen, use the butt of the shotgun to help dig his shoulders out. Okay. Already on top of it. We need to get him out of here quickly. I don't know if you understand the law or not, but stop where you are, and I'll take you downtown. It doesn't have to end with anyone else getting hurt. (sighs) Yes, it does. You cannot harm me. I will simply rise again. My wounds are already healing. My pain is temporary. Yours will be with you for the rest of your life. Shit. Ah! Get him out. I'm going to stop Cinder. You can't kill him. What? He's the only thing keeping Ari Man at bay. If you kill him, Ari Man escapes. Shit. Robert? You son of a bitch. Now, now, Robert, let's not devolve into name call. We don't have time for this. That wasn't wise. Shit. Put the knife down. No. Walk away or I will kill her. She'll do it, too. (laughs) Screw you. I am no one's hostage. We've got this. Go. Remember, 
Do not kill him. I understand. You will not stop me. Yes, we will. <laughs> what do you have that you think can stop me? I have my belief. Then you will carry it with you to your last breath. If that is what must be, that is what I'm willing to do. Your life is now! I have everything under control, brother. You damned fool! Get out of the way! Damn. You do not have enough bullets to stop me! That was my thinking exactly. You know what they say. The bigger they are. The harder they fall. Stay down, you son of a bitch. Oh, thank God. Don't worry, I've got one for you too. You're going to die in these tunnels, scum. Jesus Christ, man. You got any more anger issues to work out? Well, with all the unpaid overtime, I've been working since you were off in Tahiti, sipping drinks with little umbrellas in them. Yeah. I've got some things to work out. It's good to see you too. Same. Can we get out of here now? I'm afraid it's not that simple. What are you gonna do? Shoot all of us? No, Mrs. Rogers, I don't have to shoot all of you. All I have to do is kill Mr. Davis, and then things will get... real interesting. But that's not part of your plan. Too true, Peter. But if I can't be successful, I can make sure that you aren't either. Now, back up and stay away from me, or I will shoot Peter between the eyes, and whatever happens next, happens. Okay, Locke. We're doing what you say. What do you want? Let me tell you a story. Sheriff Burke? I didn't expect you to be here. Where else would I be? The hospital? Well, yeah, well, nothing I can do there. Uh, The doctors have my number if anything changes. Uh, The question is, what are you doing here, Ms. Darden? I came back to help with this one thing, and now I'm going back home. To Milledgeville? Yes. And what thing are you here to help with? Here, this is for you. What's this, more files? I think I already know everything I need to know about what's going on. No, you don't. If you did, you wouldn't be here. You'd be down there, helping. You would have called in your best officers. Hell, you would have gotten SWAT involved. I don't know. But seeing you're here and not there, you don't really believe. Look, I've had a hell of a night, and the last thing I need is another lecture. I'm not planning on lecturing you. I'm just telling you that you don't know Jack. And how are these files going to convince me? That's everything there is about the tunnels. I've read this already. Erica posted it on the internet for everyone to see after Robert went missing. Not quite. Erica published everything Robert had. All he had was his own notes and writings. There was a reason he came to me in the first place. I was the researcher. I was the one who dug through old papers, old journals, checked out microfilm, called other libraries for information. He was good at interviewing people, that's for sure. But I was the one who got the hard facts. What he had on the tunnels was only a fraction of what is actually out there about them. The abridged version, so to speak. This is the unabridged version. And I'm just supposed to believe your word? No, but then again, I didn't write any of the things in here. Outside the stray note here and there. Everything came from other sources. Sources I trust. And why should I trust them? Read the files. My number's in them. If you have any questions, call me. You can't just leave. Oh yes, I can. I almost died when Ezekiel's bunker collapsed. I almost saw Robert get killed when Molly kidnapped him. 
I did my time, and I got out before it consumed me. If anyone needs me, they know how to reach me. I'll help any way I can, but I'm not going back down there. Robert understands that. And anyone who doesn't, I don't really care. Fine, fine, I'll read these files, but I don't think it will change my mind. Funny. That file is filled with people who thought the same thing. <laughs> Seriously, Mrs. Darden, do you really expect me to take the word of someone who got drunk, saw a deer, and thought it was a Wendango or something? Nope. Then who then? Let's just say you're not the first Burke I've come across while doing all this investigating. What? Has a sort of poetic irony, doesn't it, Peter? For you to be the vessel. So now what? Now? Now? I think I finally figured out my place in this story. It's not to continue it. It's to end it, once and for all. Oh, George, but the story won't end there. Ezekiel, what the hell are you doing? Fulfilling prophecy. Burn with me. No! No! Stop! Ah! Oh, fuck. Jesus, it's another earthquake. Everyone get out of here. Run! Where is George? He's already ahead of us. He left us behind? No, he left you behind. I chose to stay. You petulant child. We must get out of here before it's too late. Don't worry. I'm leaving right now. I just wanted to make sure he didn't see. Didn't see what? Ah, ah, ah. He only needs one of us by his side. And don't you think that should be his sister? Ah. You bitch! Goodbye now, May. Uh, you won't be missed. Get out of here before the whole ceiling collapses on us. What the? What the hell is that? We keep running. I can see the entrance. We're almost. Ah! Is everyone accounted for? <laughs> Wait, where the hell is Peter? Anyone got eyes on Peter? Ah, oh, I'm going back in. Are you crazy? Yeah, maybe. All I know is we went through all this trouble to get him back. I'm not about to lose him again. Wait, look at the entrance. Is that... Oh, thank God. You had me worried for a second. What took you so long? Had to stop to tie your shoe? I... What? Hey, get back here! Seriously, Peter, let's get the hell out of here. I could use a drink. Peter is gone. What? Burn with me. We have to get Cade. It's... it's too late. We have to go. No! No, we can't! We can't just leave him! Jesus, the ground is opening up. Let me go. Let me go. Run! 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 Tunnels was written by Robert Chauncey and Charlie Dukes and was produced by Haunted Griffin Entertainment. It stars, in order of appearance, Jason D. Johnson as George Locke, Peter O'Malley as Detective Greg Bowman, Robert Chauncey as Robert Chauncey, Connie Kitts as Carrie Darden, Sarah Golding as Karen Rogers, Pete Lutz as Ezekiel Kane, Charlie Dukes as Peter Davis, Gary Scales as Cinder, Randy Cool as Cade, Caitlin Buckley as CSU Erica Young, Carrie Michael Ayers as Sheriff Floyd Burke. 
Russell Gold as Barnabas Kane, Lorelai Martin as Tatum Adams, and Rihanna McAfee as May. Our theme music is The World Will Break by Dano. If you like this song and want to hear more from him, check out his website at danosongs.com. Our outro music was written by Thoro Smiley. For more stuff from him, check out his shows Attention Hellmart Shoppers, Harmless Phosphorescence, and anything from Harmless Entertainment Network. If you like Tunnels or any of the shows from Haunted Griffin Entertainment, there are a few ways you can show your support. You can give them 5-star ratings wherever you rate and review podcasts. This allows for broader visibility, allowing for even more people to discover us. You can tell people about us on social media, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, or even MySpace. Putting our show out there can bring even more people to our listening audience just like you. And if you really want to help, you can support us on Patreon, where you get early access to all of our shows on Haunted Griffin Entertainment, care package opportunities, and exclusive access to our patron-only series, Ghosts of Griffin. To become a patron, visit us at patreon.com slash hauntedgriffin. You can also purchase t-shirts, coffee cups, stickers, and much more at our TeePublic store at tpublic.com slash user slash hauntedgriffin. For more information on Haunted Griffin Entertainment, visit our website at hauntedgriffin.com. Join us on social media. Our Twitter is at Tunnels Podcast, or join our Discord. Our audio drama spotlight is shining on a Ninth World Journal. A Ninth World Journal is set one billion years in the future. It's a story of John Yu, a man who randomly teleports to strange and dangerous places with no way of controlling it. For more information, visit them at NinthWorldJournal.com and listen to wherever you listen to great audio dramas at. And always remember, support audio drama. Join Tunnels for our fifth and final season, coming 2021.